Alright guys, and welcome back for a new little project. Gonna be putting together another vintage G.I. Joe. So I'll just show you what I got going on here. So I uh, picked up a uh, reflocked G.I. Joe uh, land adventurer head. So uh, really nice looking uh, flock job there. And uh, for my last project, I put together a uh, Adventure Team Karate Guy uh, using the same method, but it was an Eagle Eyes version. Uh, and that was using the, uh, the Guyper Man Reproduction 1970s Muscle Body G.I. Joe. So uh, these are available on Cots World uh, Collectibles at G.I. Joe Elite. Uh, they are just brand new stock on original uh, bodies. There's some uh, re-engineering done. So the original Adventure Team would have uh, the AT symbol on the belt. This is just plain, but uh, pretty much uh, an exact uh, duplicate. So that's the body I'll be using. And then uh, also from Cotsworld, they picked up the uh, Amiibo uh, Commander outfit. Pretty cool outfit. It's like a desert uh, camouflage look. So I'm uh, going to be dressing them up in that. And they also have a little kit where you could uh, basically just get whatever uniform and then get whatever boot set you want. So I got the uh, brown boot set with the uh, shoulder strap, the gun. Also comes with the, uh, the uh, emblem for the necklace and even a patch. So I'll get into all of that later. The first step is putting the head onto the actual body. Uh, I'm going to heat this up with a blow dryer, a low heat for uh, a couple of minutes and that should pop on. I want to uh, of course force it and you're going to need a little heat for the flexibility so that it pops on. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll continue on. Alright so it's popped on and uh, again it's another pretty nice match too for the skin tone. Uh, did really well with the eagle eyes head and this head is of course a pretty good match as well. It's a hair bit lighter uh, the head from the body but it's really pretty close so that looks really good it's such a fun and easy way to just bring a uh, vintage G.I. Joe back to action so that's pretty cool so uh, moving on from that we got him with his head attached so let's go ahead and take a look at the at the outfit that I picked out here. So, this is the Commander outfit. There's the uh, pants. You got the, the two pockets on the side. Pretty nice stitching and folding here. They make these in various colors. You can get them in black and this color and a few others and they make a couple of different versions of it so uh, this one here is got the four pockets with the buttons attached that's pretty cool and you see the uh, pockets are free floating on the bottom and they are affixed at the top so let's start putting him together and a simple uh, snap system two buttons on the fly so you can see there the uh, the fit is pretty good no problems there as it should be. I know they're kind of aimed at the, uh, the what do they call it, the uh, Elite Brigade exactly, but uh, those are really based on the, uh, the vintage style 60s Joes. This is the 70s body. They are a bit bigger, you know, this is considered the muscle body. So they are bigger than a standard 64 G.I. Joe body, but the uh, fit is still no problem. They do kind of make these a little oversized which was kind of the, uh, you know, the vintage vibe of it. You know, they're not tailored 
as, you know, like Hot Toys style one six scale clothing. But the, this is the charm of the vintage stuff. So, zoom out a bit here. You get the uh, effect. I think that's looking pretty cool. It's not a bad commander outfit. Would like to get a green one at some point. I mean, that was really what I wanted, but this is not a bad alternative. So, let's get into the gear set. Start putting that together. So, we get the boots. Went with the short, you can get short or tall, but I thought the short ones kind of go with this style of uniform. So we got that, and then we got the uh, holster setup. So that should just wrap around the uh, body and clip on. Well, there that is, that's pretty simple. It's a matter of getting them situated now that the uh, gear is on them so it doesn't look too bulky. I think that looks pretty cool, not too bad. And of course he comes with his little pistol. It's kind of like a remake of the original one that they would have received back in the uh, 70s. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll go into the dog tags, AT dog tags. And they also give you a patch so that'll be a really cool thing. I probably should have put that on first. Let's see, that'll go somewhere about there. I'll do that in a minute. Take my time to do that. I won't do that on camera because I'll probably mess it up. a close look at the dog tag got the AT symbol for adventure team and then the GI Joe logo very cool so let me go ahead and do that patch and we'll wrap this uh, this little project up all right so this project is pretty much complete I put the patch on he's got his full uniform so he's ready for action pretty cool looking outfit uh, again that's a uh, cots world uh, I believe it's called the uh, Mebo. Uh, camouflage and uh, that's one of the gear sets they do in the accessory section of their website So, looking really cool I got some pretty interesting little uh, projects coming along I got a vintage review uh, it's gonna be a unique one uh, it does pertain to the adventure team but uh, it's gonna be something a little different that's coming up soon uh, and next up I uh, also have a restoration project for the 1974 G.I. Joe Adventure Team ATV. Just waiting on some last bits and pieces to come in and I'll start that project, so stay tuned for those. And as always guys, thanks for watching.